With the community of Vernon still reeling from news of the suspicious death of 18-year-old Tracy Genero, an effort is being made to focus on addictions and their impact on the young. Despite her young age, Genero battled with a drug addiction so powerful she turned to the sex trade for a time, but had quit both when she went missing in May, according to her father. Her remains were found on a farm in the Shushwap. Addictions and youth will be the focus of a public panel later this month. We wanted to bring together a panel that would uh, feature both an expert in the field, which is Dr. Michael O'Connor, as well as local uh, youth, family, counselors, and service providers, because the topic is really how to prevent addiction through relationships. So by bringing local people together, we can really discuss strategies for here in Vernon that will help support our youth. The statistics are startling. Up to 85% of youth have used alcohol and over half have used some other form of illicit drug. So what we know is that it's happening and our goal with this is to address um, what can help become a protective factor for youth, which is stronger relationships and a stronger community around them. Knowing that we've lost someone recently in our community, a young person with addiction issues, it definitely weighs on all of our minds and our 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 hearts are with the family and loved ones and I hope that through this panel and through this resource fair we can really build up support and knowledge in our community about how to prevent addictions in youth through relationships. The panel and fair will take place at the Vernon Rec Centre on November 23rd. For Castanet News, I'm Kate Bowie in Vernon. Communicate with other Castanet readers in our forum section, which can be found in the Opinions button in our yellow masthead.